That is right, ladies and gentlemen, Rockstar or Take Two Interactive have done it again. I know I am a bit late, by the way, as well, but Paragon, the popular mod menu, has been taken down from GTA Online and has stopped all of production of mod menus and selling and all that stuff. Now I'm going to get to the who, what, where, when, why in a second, but first of all, I'd just like to say if you guys do end up enjoying today's video, please remember to drop a like and subscribe, as well as I have some giveaway news at the end of the video if you're interested in winning a PC GTA Online account, as well as I'll probably have it in the description as well, so if you just want to read that instead of staying the end i totally understand go ahead and read that for yourself but uh anyways let's get right into the video very similarly to the luna mod menu that got taken down a few months ago by rockstar take two whatever you want to call it not exactly sure who did it but it was most likely that it was an exit scam a few months ago with luna take two probably was like hey take this down we don't want your uh crap in our game okay you're losing you're making us lose profits so they probably just pulled an exit scam just so they wouldn't have to worry about angry customers wanting to get their money back and all that stuff and put a bunch of pressure on them so they just pulled a quick little exit scam without really saying much and doing much and they just stopped production with that and it's i think the exact same thing here going on with paragon i think rockstar and take two interactive they're cleaning up gta online right before the expanded and enhanced edition which was just announced as a release date in november 18th 2021 so i think they're doing some last minute cleaning up before that edition of the game releases if you go on paragon's website it currently says paragon closure dear community as most of you know paragon's data was recently compromised this includes info such as sids which is social club ids ips emails discord ids and license keys but no passwords you guys can read the rest of this but they're pretty much they pretty much is just some massive apology and we wish you all the best in the future best regards team paragon and that it'll be fully shut down post -instance. so if you guys want to check this out um you can go ahead pause the video and read the whole thing i don't want to read the whole thing because it's pretty much just an apology letter so at the end of the day i don't think that rockstar the anti-cheat in gta online actually stopped paragon from working i think take two sent them a little email and was like hey uh you know take this down or we're gonna sue your ass and take two being a multi-billion dollar company you know they can do whatever the hell they want attorney wise suing wise court wise lawyer wise they can do whatever the hell they want you would never ever want to be put up against a billion dollar corporation like take two interactive man that would be a scary sight and i personally would just do whatever they would ask and just don't even worry about going to court that that'd be a pretty scary sight i think that's what happened with paragon here so i think take two honestly sent them a little email or sent them a little threat saying hey take this down or we're gonna sue your ass for millions of dollars and all the profits they've lost i understand take two from a business standpoint you know if someone's walking in your shop and you know steal something without paying for it yeah you're gonna be a little bit pissed off now, see, Take-Two Interactive's losing a bunch of money because no one's buying shark cards on PC. People are just buying mob menus, a one-time purchase for $20, $30, $40. And you've got unlimited money for yourself, for friends, for random people in lobbies, and you, get, you don't even need to level up. And you skip that whole grind, and you get whatever the hell you want, and you don't have to pay for shark cards. So that's the reason why Take-Two Interactive is pissed off. That's probably the reason why it's being taken down. Now you could be asking yourself, why all of a sudden are they taking down these massive mod menus all of a sudden? Why didn't they do this earlier? Why are they doing this now? And the point and the reason why they're doing this now is because the expanded and enhanced edition is coming out and they want that game, well, <laughs> sorry, the remaster for the second time to sell. And, you know, of course it's coming on the PS5 and Xbox Series X November 18th. That's all really exciting. I'm really excited for that. I hope they actually add something new, and I think they will. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and I think they're actually going to add something new. I think the reason why they want to get rid of all these PC mod menus and cheats is because either they want to make a crossplay between PlayStation, Xbox, and PC, and let's be honest, if, if it was crossplay right now, everyone on PlayStation and Xbox would have billions and millions of dollars because everyone on PC could give them mod, mod menu money and they could just go freaking nuts and no one would have to buy shark cards 
ever. They might actually have to make a new game, let's be honest. But regardless, it's either crossplay, which I highly doubt. I, I have a doubt in my mind that it's not actually crossplay, and I think it is because they want PC to be actually playable again. So people can actually either buy the PC version for the very first time or actually play it when the expanded and enhanced update comes out. At the moment, we don't know if it's going to be an update for free on PC or if that you're going to have to buy the game again. GTA Online currently is a terrible, terrible place on PC. It is so, so known to be bad, full of cheaters, modders, people getting IPs and DDoSing and shit like that. It's even happened to me, uh, you know, on a regular basis. I've been DDoSed when I wasn't streaming. I was just calmly sitting in a lobby and people have DDoSed me before. Uh, it happens, and these, these cybersecurity attacks are actually very, very uh, bad, you know? Everyone knows about them. You know, you ask a person that hasn't played GTA in years, they will bring up and they will know about how bad it is on PC and all the cheaters. Even on console, there's glitches like God Mode glitches and all that that people still exploit to this day. So I think this is a very good thing coming from not only a consumer standpoint, but also Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive and their profits. Because if they're cleaning up the PC mod menu cheating uh, fiasco on PC, that either means the game is going to be cross-play with Xbox and P PlayStation, sorry. I don't know that for sure. You know, I don't work for Rockstar. Take that with a grain of salt. But that's just a theory of mine. And my second theory, of course, is that they want to clean up PC so they can actually make sales and have an actual player base back on PC again. Because right now, it is literally just modders. And what better way to come back to a nice new updated or new version of a game than with cleaning out all the cheaters? So as of right now, if you were to ask me what menu you should get, I would say zero because by the time November comes around, I really don't think that there's going to be any menus left. And when the time comes where the Expanded Enhanced Edition comes out, I think they'll actually make it so there's some actual good anti-cheat or have some actual support in fixing and cleaning up GTA Online consistently because for the past six years it's actually been there has just been nothing but mod menus and stuff like that well actually it was more of probably like a 2018 2019 thing when mod menus actually started coming up on the rise but still the past three years four years whatever you want to call it has just been a terrible terrible place to be on pc gt online it is completely unplayable it is you can't have a legit anything you can't experience anything legitimately anymore on pc there are way too many modders and it is just fiasco so i think rockstar is making a good choice here cleaning up all the gta online mod menus just so they can either make sales have cross play or something when the expanded and enhanced edition comes out but at the end of the day take everything that i'm saying with a grain of salt i've been playing gta online since 2013 and i know the best experiences i've had was on playstation or xbox 360 and all the console versions because there are no modders there are no cheaters ruining the game so i definitely think that they're going to be cleaning up gta online just so they can either make more sales or just have a nice big new player base come back to the game to hold us over until hopefully gta 6 within the next few years i think that'd be awesome at the end of the day this cleaning up is really good you know i'm a mostly i was a mostly gta online modding channel but at the end of the day i would much rather enjoy a game without cheating than enjoy a game while cheating i do mod or used to mod for videos you know and this is probably why you're watching the video you know me as a gta online modder i did that for about a year and a half on the channel and the reason i do it is because it was enjoyable it was something new you know i, I don't want to wait around for gta 6 i know i know that we all still have to but you know at the end of the day i love to hop on gta and just enjoy myself and that, if that's with a mod menu or without a mod menu i'd rather enjoy myself than not enjoy myself one thing though other than gta online on PC that I have been really really enjoying has been the GTA RP aspect 5M those RP servers they have been really really fun for me and I've been really enjoying it these past uh, week or so that I've been making videos and stuff on it and I think that's what my next upload is going to be is the GTA RP footage you guys are actually seeing in the background it's muted so it makes no sense and has no context but yeah, it, it's a good one trust me
So yeah, hats off to Rockstar and Take Two for actually finally paying attention to GTA Online on PC and actually getting rid of all the mod menus and cheaters. And with that being said, thanks again guys for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications. And like I said at the beginning of the video, the giveaway, all you really have to do to enter is like and comment down below on this video. And all the videos that I have released from May 16th all the way up to June 1st or May 31st depending on which day I upload I think because on June 1st I'm going to pick one out of all the videos that have over a hundred likes and I'm going to choose one person from that comment so it could be any video between uh, now and June 1st so you better like and comment from all my videos in May because you may uh, increase your chances of getting the giveaway which is um, a GTA Online PC account I will pay for it and I will give it to you and uh, all I really got to say is just drop your discord down below in the comment just so I have a way to contact you and uh, yeah thanks again for watching please remember to drop a like and subscribe turn on post notifications and I'll see you guys in the next one peace